Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you this morning on this Wednesday morning? It's hump day. It's the 25th day of January. Already 25th of January. Wow. 43 degrees as I make this video at 4 o'clock in the morning. Hello, my name is Rich, and uh, we have weather changes on the way. Uh, today, temperatures will be zooming into the 70s. Today will be the warmest day of the week. However, a big change to much cooler air, and cold weather fans have been waiting for this for a while because for the last two weeks, you know, we've been pretty warm. Uh, so we'll talk about the uh, updated future radar uh, uh, with the showers coming in, the temperatures over the weekend. We'll look ahead uh, to next week as well. And on this video, a space station flyover. I haven't told you about one of those in a while, right? We'll talk about that too. Here we go. There's the front this morning all the way out in Oklahoma and Texas. It's got a long way to go, but it's moving fast. We've got a warm day today and a dry day today, and I think the front will be uh, approaching the northwest corner of the state by 6 o'clock tonight with a few scattered showers out ahead of it, a narrow band of showers, and then colder air back behind this front. In fact, as we look at future radar, which takes you through the day today, which will be dry, and through the evening hours tonight, showing the band of showers by about 6 p.m. tonight, reaching the I-20, I-59 corridor and heading southeast. I think the band makes the Montgomery area probably around midnight and then heads southeast. Partly sunny today, 40% chance of showers in the, in the uh, nighttime hours tonight and by first thing tomorrow morning. Tonight's low 47 after today's high of 75. Southwest wind 6 to 12. By 6 in the morning, the front is all the way down to Dothan. Breezy, cooler on Thursday with high temperatures only in the 50s. Friday is a chilly day with temperatures barely in the low to mid 50s for highs and 30s in the morning and then a cold Thursday, uh, uh, Friday night into Saturday morning with temperatures teetering near freezing will be in the low 30s sunny chilly a cool day Sunday again we start off very cold with temperatures in the low 30s probably right around the freeze mark in many areas on Monday another start right around freezing a cold morning but a chilly day ahead on Monday so let's review uh, upper 50s on Thursday, mid to upper 50s, let's say. Mid 50s on Friday at best, maybe uh, only low 50s on Saturday and Sunday with temperatures in the low 30s, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday morning with mostly sunny skies right on through that period. So no storms like last weekend. Here is the European out 10 days. I love this graph because it shows the showers Saturday night, the blue bars at the bottom. Look at the difference between the high temperature today and the low temperature by Sunday and Monday morning. What a big difference. And another storm system there about around Friday, February 3rd. So so, you know, in the low seven, low to mid-70s today, I think, sharply colder than uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, uh, before we start to moderate it a little bit by about the middle of next week. That's the uh, European. Now the GFS out 16 days, again showing the warm day today, again showing the big plunge over the upcoming weekend, including those very cold mornings. Uh, well, I mean, colder than, than we had in a while. And then temperatures moderating next week. The CPC, the Climate Prediction Center, shows that much of the next 10 days will be cold of the normal across the east and southeastern U.S. A big change from what we've had here lately. And your down your downloaded weather app will show hour by hour temperatures and current conditions where you can see, you know, how not only how cold it's going to be at your location, but how cold it might be. You know, how many hours it might be freezing. That's important information. Hey, there's a great space station flyover tomorrow evening. I haven't told you about one in a while because sometimes we've had cloudy skies when they've happened. 6.41 to 6.44 p.m. Uh, coming out of the southwest and moving northeast. The space station flyover Thursday evening. It should be a very bright one, a very good one. Kids love this. If you haven't seen one ever, uh, you it's a bright point of light and you will absolutely be amazed. It's great. For those of you who've been watching me uh, for many years, I try to keep you up to date on not only space station flyovers, but you know stuff like full moons and conjunctions of the planets and cool stuff going on in the sky. Just a little extra here. I hope you have a great day today. I'll be with you again tomorrow morning out here on a cooler morning at 5 o'clock uh, is, is when your video will be posted tomorrow morning. I'll be live on the radio this morning from 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1, also on Bama Country. And whenever you want it, wherever you go, uh, your forecast will be across the radio dial twice an hour on eight radio stations, the Blue Water family of stations. See you later. Have a good one. Rich Thomas Weather.